Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Yellow Hammer Sports Podcast here on the Lotus Sports Network. Check out the hat uh, where we cover Alabama high school sports in our area each and every uh, week. I am the Colonel. It's bringing catfish. What's going on, buddy? What up, brother? Another wonderful day. Oh, yeah. So I think we'll go ahead and get into it, guys. Got basketball recap January the 2nd through the 7th of 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Starting off on the 4th of, D- of January, uh, got girls basketball. We got Gordo 24 and Carbon Hill 50. That's a big win for Carbon Hill girls. Uh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. You know, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you got it. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Again, girls basketball played on January the 4th. Hackleburg 55, Vina 45. I bet Coach is happy about this one, no doubt. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. They did a great job, man. Y'all did a great job last week for sure. Oh, I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, girls basketball played on January the 4th at high level 61, Hamilton 31. That is a shocker. That surprised me when I was somebody making must, the slide. Yeah, somebody got hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bus was late, something. Yeah, good Lord. Wow, that's that's crazy. Shout out to high level. Yeah. And then right here in boys basketball on January the 4th in overtime, Hackleburg 68, Vina 66. What a game getting the sweep. Oh my had, to be, had to be close. on. I mean, it had to be a good game to watch, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Guys, we didn't have a lot of information on the games played on those two days for the boys, but we're going to take a short commercial break from Better Help. Check them out. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, the world's a tough place. We all know it. I mean, the past couple of years has been rough on everybody. Uh, if you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, today's sponsor is here to help you. Today's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network that gives access to help that may not be available in your area. And guys, just be truthful, even if it's even if it is available in your area, maybe you went to high school with a therapist or college, you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody about your problems, and that's understandable. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with the therapist in as little as 48 hours. Then you schedule your secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. You can join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with experienced BetterHelp therapists. Guys, all you got to do is get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. That's BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. Let's bring the guys back in. BetterHelp.com, H-E-L-P.com slash Loaded Sports Network for 10% off your first month. Make Ain't sure that right? Check it out. Check it out. Ten percent. Ching ching. That's it. Back to the show. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you for checking out that uh, Better Help commercial again. BetterHelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network. Ten percent off your first month of online therapy. Got girls basketball played January the fifth. Got Marion County twenty seven and Clements seventy. That's a big disparaging point right there <laughs> yeah it's just it's a hard ask for anything clement's pretty hard in any sport any uh uh it doesn't matter if it's boys or girls so i mean you hate to see that from one of our teams for sure yep got lynn 27 and brilliant 64 and brilliant tigers i mean they, they good them girls they're oof. really good really good Got Mountain Brook 48 and Jasper 51. I was stoked when I saw this. Got to be a good win, right? (laughs) Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, great for the program. Because Mountain Brook's going to be, what, a Birmingham school? Yeah, there's seven there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You take a – we we continue. (laughs) Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's, uh, I believe, 280. You go all the way through Birmingham. Take 280, uh, right, wind up right in uh, Mountain Brook, or you can take 65 and then hit 
uh, four fifty nine. Uh, okay, so, as they were, so that's yeah. that's going to be around what Cahaba and all that. Yeah, and right? then, I mean you got yeah you got Childers Burg, Vestavia Hills, all them good right. places. Yeah, that's what I thought. Homewood. Yeah, all the rich neighborhoods. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, again, guys, got girls basketball played January the 5th. Waterloo, 53. Vina, 39. Oh, man. Them Vina girls, they, they having a tough time competing. Yeah. It don't matter if it's at home or on the road. So, yeah. You hope that, that works itself out for sure. Got Red Bay, 45. Lamar County, 50. That's a tough game. Uh, you know, they've been pretty good this year. I wouldn't put too much on this one, but uh, to go to Lamar County and only lose by five is a, uh, it's, it's almost a win in itself. Yeah, yeah. I think you can consider that just about as close to a win as you can get. Yeah. Got Addison 51, Hatton 48. There we go. There we go. That's, that's, another, that's another talented team right there. Yep. You got Bell Green 64, Hackleburg 38. They they good dude they good. They I really say they're you know it's what you expect I think you know. <laughs> Coach didn't have uh, a good one on this one. <laughs> no, I didn't hear nothing from him on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it got boys basketball played January the fifth. Corner forty one, Dora forty four. Yeah, I saw a little bit of feed on this one. This is this was a great game, uh, and I mean it's just a tough and they're. This is each other's biggest rival, so yeah. Uh, for it to go down to the wire like this, it was just a great game. And uh, Dor came out with it. You got to get hats off to him, but what a game! Got Oakman forty nine, Fayette County forty six. Right, that's expect. It's exactly what I expect from Oakman boys. They hadn't really uh, been what I wanted them to be this year, but uh, getting it done against a good opponent on the road uh that's exactly what i expect them to do right i mean that's what you want uh, yeah. no doubt and then boys basketball january the 5th got addison 49 hatton 55 they couldn't get the sweep no mm. it's on the road so i mean i let it i'm let it slide <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, it was close you know Got uh, Lynn, 72, Brilliant, 25. Ooh. Mm. Oof. Oof. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's all <laughs> you can say. <laughs> uh, they, they call this, you know, uh, it's uh, I want to say it's the hashtag uh, um, make history is what they're calling this season, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I fully expect Lynn Bears boys to make a good run here late. And uh, get a better seed in the playoffs, and we'll see what they're capable of. But uh, I, I expect more from brilliant Tigers, yeah. the boys, especially when the girls are dominating like they are. So exactly, uh, it's hard to lose at home like that, lose period like that. But at home, oof. Yeah, by almost fifty, yeah, you know. So yeah. that's a rough loss. Yeah. <laughs> Then we and uh boys basketball on January the 5th had Bell Green 59, Hackleburg 62, and two overtimes. What a game! What a game. man, <laughs> I gotta go back, and, go back and watch that one. I My know we got I, 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 I yeah, red, red Bay. Oh, yeah, coach is ecstatic over it. <laughs> got Red Bay 66 and Lamar County 44. That's, that's exactly, you know, we were talking about how hard it is to get to Lamar County and even just to lose by five, it was considered a win. But yeah. uh, Red Bay boys to get it done by double digits, I mean, Jesus, that's a great win for that program. Oh, yeah. As we're going to take another short little break here, but we've got a Wayne fact. It says, did you know the Boy State record for most three-point goals made in the game is 25? <laughs> God, <my laughs> Plain Plainview made 25 against North Sand Mountain during the 2017-2018 season. Plainview won the game 119 to 55. My lord. Man, can you imagine yeah. one game making 25 threes? You know, I'm sure well, it's I mean, not just one person, but still, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's almost 
Oh my God. 25 threes. Lord have mercy. Like I, I couldn't imagine that, dude. I really can't. No. Oh ever. no. Well, guys, it's called fool's go for a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys, like I said, you know, we appreciate these Wayne facts. Wayne, we appreciate it. I know you watch every week. You're sort of the producer behind the show, I guess. But, you know, we appreciate all these little facts. Uh, I know me and Catfish get a kick out of them. So. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. But we're going to take Beautiful. a short break, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Hope you enjoyed that short commercial break. Got girls basketball played January the 6th. Got Curry 36 and Summit and Christian 18. Oof. That, that just had to have been uh, – that's not much scoring going on on either either side. But uh, About to say either side. I mean, it, yeah. it had to be a defensive battle, which Curry won, you know. Yeah, and a lot of their games have been this way. So, uh, yeah. apparently they just – they they – Play hard defense and uh, score when they can. Yeah. Got Lynn, 28, Hackleberg, 54. Uh, I, you know, I, I want it so bad for Heath Gewen and Lynn, uh, Lady Bears. Uh, he's just a great guy. He's a great football coach as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, they, they're trying to figure it out. and Maybe they will before the season gets too far gone. But uh, uh, it's a good win for – Hackerberg girls. Yeah, and I think there's still time, you know, to, to figure everything out, you know. Mm. Again, in girls basketball played on uh, January the 6th. Got Lexington 41, Tharp Town 32. That's one of their biggest opponents. Uh, Lexington's pretty good, pretty pretty solid in any sport. So, uh, it's – it's hard to lose at home by double digits. Or well, it's not by double digits, but that gun near it. I was it's close, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, just to lose like that, it always sucks, but it, I'm not putting too much on it. Yeah, me either. Got Danville forty one, Phil Campbell forty eight. Go Bobcats. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had Danville logo it's slick, man. Oh man, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of these logos that are just awesome, especially yeah. the private schools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got Winston County 36, Sullivan 37. Close game. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been a good game. Outside of not having overtimes, it was as close as you're going to get to, you know. Yep. Uh, yeah. For Winston County to go to Sullivan, which is just, I mean, they're a great program. You're in, you're out, and only lose by one. Uh, that's that's a win, like we yep. said in the cell. I agree. Yeah, again, in girls basketball, played on January the sixth. Got Dora fifty one, Hamilton sixty one. I mean, that's exactly what you expect out of these Hamilton girls. I mean, I don't understand what happened with the Halo game. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I, I know. I, I know. I mean, and that, it was at their house too, so I, I don't, yeah. I don't know where it went wrong or what happened. Man, they must have had a bunch of girls out sick or something. Right. Uh, this is what you expect from them. Yep. Got West Point 71, Russellville 47. Mm. Tough one. Yeah, it's tough. And West Point, they they tough. Any way you look at it, they, they're a tough program to beat. So, uh, that's hard for Russell. Hard loss for Russell. <laughs> yeah. Again, girls basketball played on January the 6th. Got Cordova 42, Haleville 52. It seemed like Haleville at first, like the girls couldn't find a win. And I mean, yeah. now they've had pretty two pretty good wins that we saw. And I mean, I, shout out to them. They yeah, I mean, you got you, you to hope that they're got some momentum building. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got Vina 49, Phillips 44. Shout out to Vina girls for rebounding. Yep. Uh, you know, Phillips girls, like I've talked, Lady Bears, they, they've been pretty good uh, these past few years. But this year, they hadn't really been too hot. And uh, Hats off to Vina girls for, you know, rebounding. Yep. Got Belmont, Mississippi, 78, 
and Red Bay, 29. Mm. Oof. That one's got to hurt because that's yeah. right across the line, you know? Yeah. The best store in Belmont, Mississippi is the Silver Dollar, and it's like a you know a thrift yeah location. Yeah. They got they got a little bit of everything, but they've got any kind of restaurant you could think of. It doesn't matter if it's Burger King, Chicken Nuggets, or Chick Fil A, yeah. Chicken Nuggets. They've oh, got yeah. it in that place. <laughs> but uh, you know that's that's hard loss for Red Bay girls, no doubt. Yeah, yeah I'm sure that I'm sure they would have loved to come out with a win with the, on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, got boys basketball played on January the 6th. Got Curry 28, Summerton Christian 46. Huh, well, this is what I expect from Summerton Christian boys. Uh, I would like a little bit more from the Curry boys. I, I wanted that a little bit all season. They had really, had really hadn't gave it to me. And, you know, you expect when a football program ain't doing good, you expect that all the players that should be playing football are dominating in basketball, and that's not what – Yeah happening at Curry at all so yeah uh, it's just a bad year for that program and uh for them boys and you hope that it doesn't continue you hope it, right. it changes for them yeah maybe they can find something to spark like i said a little positive momentum you know got lynn 58 hackleberg 46 yep. i know ben johnson's happy about this and uh yeah he he's been stoked about this season the whole time. I mean, I mean, he really has, and uh, I'm excited for him as well. Uh, they really don't have too much height, but they've got a lot of hard players. You know, Kel Tittle, their quarterback, he plays uh, on this team. He, he's a leader on this team too, and uh, they they pretty much they play hard, play fast, play physical. They're gonna hit you in the mouth, and you better be ready for it. And like you see right here, they can do it on the road too. Yeah. Got West Point 64 and Russellville 80. Yeah. Oof. That's exactly what you expect out of yeah. Russellville boys. That's what you think from Russellville girls would do to West Point. But, uh, yeah, good good job for the Golden Tigers right there. Got Vina 35 and Phillips 87. Oh, the, I mean, it's two big scores right there. Yeah, but say back to back big games. It felt like we hadn't seen an eighty point game in a minute. Yeah, I mean, there we go, back to back. Uh, you know, that's what you expect from Phillips when it comes to basketball, at least. Yep. Got Danville fifty seven, Phil Campbell fifty five, and a heartbreaker. <laughs> you know. Oh man, tearjerker. <laughs> yep. As I, this one hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Campbell's still having a good year, though. So <laughs> They are. They are. Again, boys, basketball played January the 6th. Winston County, 33. Seligent, 47. Yeah, the, the Blue Devils got the sweep on them. It's a, it's a hard one to get. Hard win to get right there. Yep. Got Belmont, Mississippi, 42. Red Bay, 58. So they prevented the sweep. Yep. Yep. Uh, these boys, they've been pretty good. I mean, the girls have too, so yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of strange to see that score. Evidently, Belmont girls are pretty good. They're dang yeah, good. They're probably, probably good. <laughs> yeah. Excuse Again, my friend. <laughs> Hubbardville, 19. Whew. Oof. Again, <laughs> Oof. Oof. what else Oof. can you say? That was that's all Marion County as a practice. Yeah, somebody turned all the AI statistics up. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Got Cordova forty six, Haleville fifty four. Uh, these two teams have faced off a lot in big games these this past decade. I mean, especially in in the playoffs uh, when the Chapman boys were at Cordova and uh, Logan Dye, who played at Sanford, was at Haleville. It's back when Dusty Ball was coach at Haleville. They had a lot, a lot of big, big-time games against each other. And uh, you still, as you can still tell, they're, they're still duking it out, and it's always pretty close. Yeah. And a uh, good win for Haleville boys. Oh, yeah. Guys, going to take another break, but before we do, we got another Wayne fact. It says, did you know tied third for the fewest points scored in a girls' game was four, 
The Eufaula Tigers defeated Russell County Warriors 104 to 4 in 1997. Oh man. Oof. And I and I couldn't imagine being in the crowd for that one, you know. <laughs> Beat, beating a team by 100 points, man. Oh. Oof. Well, at some uh, point you just got to you just got to call it, right? Yeah, you just I gotta mean, ta- you just you just gotta call time out and go talk to the other coach and be like, look, we can't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're up, you know, it wouldn't take a hundred points. You're up by fifty. Let's yeah. just call it a day. Yeah. You know? hmm So Lord have mercy. <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, that's rough. And again, we just wanna tell Wayne we appreciate him for getting these facts for us. Uh it really does help make the show a little bit more uh, better. Yeah. But uh gonna take a short break. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys, it's the Colonel here from the Lotus Sports Network. Wanting to tell you about our merchandise store. Guys, it's open now. You can uh, freely go buy uh, some T-shirts and support this network and help it grow. Here's a short little video showing you how to get to it. First thing you want to do is go to lotusportsnetwork.com. Go to the home page. You can click on the network store, and it will take you to the store. And you can see here uh, we got Lotus Sports Network. T-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Scrolling down, got the Yellow Hammer Football Podcast. Same thing. T-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Spring-loaded footballs also represented. Uh, the flagship show of the network, Coach's Corner. For all them Coach's Corner fans out there, I know there's a lot of you guys, represent Coach's Corner. And also Bruiser Brian. Again, T-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Guys, you know, it, it might not mean much to y'all, but it means a lot to us. So we uh, would highly encourage you to help support this network. And buying a T-shirt will help us do a lot more things. You know, the more we make up this network, the uh, the more we're able to do with it. And uh, we want to see it grow as much as possible. And it just means a lot to us, guys. So, again, thank you very much. Please consider buying a T-shirt. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back from that short commercial break. Hope you enjoyed it. Got boys basketball played on January 7th. Uh, 2023. You got Meek 59 and Lynn 57. Yeah, it was. It's a great game for me. Either way, I like both these teams. And, you know, I'm a Winston County guy, so this is the bread basket of yep. Winston County for sure. And I've got players on both teams that I I love, and then the coaches as well. I, I know it was a heartbreaker for Coach Johnson. Uh, he uh he had a lot to say about it, but uh dang good game you you want this um it's kind of you hate it forever comes out on the losing end but you 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 you're so happy for the team that comes out on the winning end you're kind of happy for both of them because it's just a daggum good games so, right yeah uh, hats off both these teams uh good job mate way to get that w i think just that seeing the score you, you know both teams were competitive the whole time Mm-hmm. You know, oh, nobody yeah. was ta- nobody was taking a break, nobody taking it easy. This thing probably went down to the wire. Yeah. And our last uh, score for the day, guys. I know there's probably more games that were played, but this is all the information we could find in the time that we had available. Boys basketball played January the seventh. Copper Heights fifty eight, Bell Green sixty nine. Oh man, big win for Bell Green. Yep. Uh, that's a way to cap it and cap this episode off for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they went undefeated this episode. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I think you're right. Yeah. So, uh, good job to them. It's been, a, it's been a good season for them for sure. Oh, yeah. But, guys, I think we're probably going to end up wrapping the show up here. We hope you enjoyed the show. Catfish, you got anything else you'd like to say? Uh, uh, happy New Year. Thanks happy for everybody that's watching. Rotate. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Guys, I just want to thank everybody for listening. The show continues to grow each and every week. Check out the audio version anywhere you find your favorite podcast. And guys, we hope we're part of that group. Check out the video show, YouTube and Spotify. Go to lotusportsnetwork.com. Click the link, buy yourself a t-shirt. If you're a colonel guy, you can pick up a shirt. The money will go, or a portion of the money will go to the Honorable Order of Kentucky Colonels and help out some good people in the state of Kentucky. And I would appreciate it. Uh, we got plenty of other shirts. So you can wrap anything on the network, you know. So check it out. But, guys, I'm the Colonel. It's Catfish. You just heard the Yellowhammer Sports Podcast, and we'll see you next time.